What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, but as you guys know from behind the scenes of everything, things have been pretty crazy lately. Today we're starting things off in the chaser because yesterday I was planning on taking the LS400 to the new compound and uh, DB did another tire. And I'm pretty sure that that barrel is now broken on that car as well, so. Hip hip hooray for that. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with that just yet, but we're starting off in the chaser. I'm gonna go get coffee. Today is Sunday, and I think it's gonna be a good day. We're back at Adams, and uh, I gotta try and get this thing in the air somehow. She's been sitting here for a few days since the whole D-bead thing happened, and uh, it sucks. I'm honestly kind of over it. This is the second DB that I've had in over the course of like two months or so. And uh, I think it just has something to do with the amount of camber that I'm running and all the all the contributing factors, maybe not enough tire pressure or something like that. I don't know, but this is the last time that I want it to happen. Um, funny enough, it happened on the same exact street too. Same exact area of the street. Maybe it's something to do with that there. I don't know, maybe it's just a coincidence, but either way, it's just annoying. Anyways, before it was a nightmare getting this thing up in the air uh, without a D-bead, but now, especially in the front, it's gonna be twice as much of a nightmare getting it up in the air with a D-bead. So I'm gonna see if I can work some magic and get this thing up in the air and figure out why it happened, how it happened, and go from there. So I was kind of able to put one GK Tech ramp under here, walk it back a little, put another one under there, walk it back a little. And then I jacked up the rear. Now I can put some wood under the backside here to kind of hold that in place while I uh, take the front off. So I think we'll be okay. Yeah, that should be plenty enough to get the jack under the front. So to my surprise, I don't think that I actually cracked a barrel this time. I looked around it, I didn't see any hairline cracks or anything that stood out. I just saw excessive tire wear. And uh, there's a couple spots where it's definitely more pronounced. So I guess I must have sprung a leak there and just rode the thing into the ground, which sucks. It really sucks. But I already have a new barrel ordered. Whether or not this one's cracked, it's just kind of destroyed. But there is possible hope that I might be able to get two new front tires and uh, just kind of beat them back on and be good to go. I would just get one new one, but I'd rather just get two new fronts and make sure that everything is good in the front and not have to worry about that anymore. Also an alignment would help. Um, so probably schedule to do that or uh, get a good toe plate alignment going. But either way, I mean, it's it might be kind of a victory. I don't know. <sighs> All right, anyway, let's get on with the day. All right, we just pulled up to the new shop, the Compound. I hope you guys enjoyed the video that I made for Adam's channel and the whole introductory to the Compound. Uh, I had an absolute blast filming that video, and uh, Chris Crispy was a huge, huge help in the whole process. We were able to fly him down. He brought his red. He brought his Moto Crane isolator arm, which made getting the lead and chase shots on the side by side an absolute breeze. Um, I didn't film any BTS stuff. My head was just running a million miles an hour the entire time. And uh, if I was trying to film a BTS video, I probably would have forgotten. So I hope you guys enjoy that video that I made for Adam and uh, it was a blast, but we're here. This place is crazy um, and I'm stoked. I'm unbelievably stoked about this. I also wanna mention really quickly that the hoodies are gone once again they are all shipped out i don't believe that i'm going to be doing a restock of these hoodies anytime soon not until at least next season uh when it's getting colder out it's already 90 something degrees down here in florida and it's starting to warm up everywhere else so i think two drops was plenty and i didn't want to wring that design out anyway and kind of make it stale so to anyone that ordered i hope you're pumped on it i love getting tagged in all the posts on my instagram of you guys wearing them all the way around the world it's crazy but yeah the next thing that I'm working on is not an apparel piece. It is kind of a car accessory, and uh, that's been in the works for about a month now. And uh, I'm still working on a little R&D for it, but once it's finalized, I think it's gonna be really, really cool. It's just kind of like a cool little JDM style gadget. Um, 
but it'll have my own spin on it. And I just think they're really cool. So once I have confirmation, all of that stuff is gonna be good. I will announce uh, what it is in a video so that you guys can be hyped for it. But the rest of this video is pretty much gonna be a walkthrough of uh, where I'm gonna be working in here, where my cars are gonna be kept, where I'm gonna be working on my cars, living situation, stuff like that, because this place is insane and there's a lot to talk about, but we're finally here. So I can finally show you. So I've been down in Florida for almost a year now. Uh, I think I came down here early July of last year and it's April right now. So two months, it'll be an entire year, which has flown by and feels super weird. But either way, the entire time that I have been here, I have been living with Adam, which has been awesome. When I came down here, instead of having to hunt for a house or anything like that, he said, hey, just live with me. Made things super, super easy. And I was really, really appreciative of that. But when we ended up getting this compound, it opened up the opportunity to stay here. And I know some of you might already have guessed it, but I'm gonna be moving into this house. This big, gigantic house over here. I'm not gonna be alone. I'm gonna be sharing this house with a few really close friends, but this house is beautiful. This entire property is beautiful. The opportunity is just super cool. Do I know if I wanna stay here permanently for years and years? No, I might want to look into getting an actual spot for myself outside of the compound in the future. But for now, this place is perfect for what I need. I can just wake up, be here already. I can be close to where my cars are gonna be worked on. It's gonna be sick, but now, let me go inside. I'll give you guys a quick little tour and show you guys where I'm gonna be staying. All right, taking you through the garage. So we don't really have a plan as to who's going to be using this garage. Obviously there's a load of car space on this property. So because there's a huge surplus of space on this property to work on our cars, and we're gonna have our own dedicated space to work on our cars, uh, this garage might just be used for storage at the time, for a pool table. I know one of my friends has a pool table that he wants to bring in here. So yeah, not really sure what we're gonna use this garage space for, but it is really nice. It's air conditioned, it's got lights, it's got everything that we would need. So if there's a case where we do need to work on something in here, uh, I'm sure that we would have no trouble with that. Uh, laundry machines right here, that's awesome. All right, so now we're in the house. I'll give you a quick walk through. So down this is more bedrooms. For those of you that walked, watched the walkthrough video, you guys know that there's three bedrooms in this corner. Walk through here, you have this super nice wide open kitchen. Uh, all the drawers, super nice. Appliances, super nice. And you come through here, you have a very nice wide open living room, living space. Comes with a TV, couches, lazy boys, everything like that. Nice little bar section to be able to just have breakfast in the morning if you're hanging with your friends or something or maybe having beers at night, whatever. Obviously, the more that we stay in this house, we will discover certain things that might need to be changed, whether it's uh, furniture or mattresses or appliances, things like that. But for now, everything works, which is sick, minus the AC. So the AC is getting looked at. Once the AC is working in tip top shape, then we should be good to move in here, which I'm really, really pumped for. Now, for those of you that watched Adam's walkthrough video, you guys know that there's a big giant master, but if you didn't watch that video, there's a big giant master. I would try and turn the lights on in here, but I don't think that any of them work. I think the bulbs are burnt out except for these bedside table ones. This master is very, very nice. And uh, I will be taking the master bedroom in this house. So far, everything looks really, really nice. Uh, don't really have to change much in here. I'll keep obviously the dressers and the nightstands and stuff, but maybe I'll hang up some of the things that I love on the wall. I might swap the actual mattress out for another mattress just because this one has been sitting here for quite a few years, just looking pretty for, uh, realtors and property tours and things like that. It's probably a fine mattress, but until I sleep on it and uh, get everything cleaned, uh, I won't know until then, but chances are I'll probably end up getting a new mattress down the road. I get super heavy Cape Cod vibes in this room. For anyone that's from Massachusetts, shout out to you. Cape Cod, beachside, master bedroom. That's exactly what this vibe is for me. It even smells kind of like a little cottage home. Uh, which is probably just a uh, house sitting for five years smell. But anyway, coming in here, huge master bath, which I'm very, very pumped on. Mirrors all over the place and 
a giant tub, which I do not plan on really using. Um, huge shower, huge, huge shower. Very hyped on that. And yeah, this, this is going to be my new place of residence for at least the first three, four months. I didn't want to tell everyone, yeah, I'm going to be living here for the next five years just because this is a huge change for me coming from Massachusetts all the way down to Florida. And I know it's been a year already living at Adam's house, but that was kind of just, you know, turnkey, go grab a bed. Bedroom already had a bathroom and a shower and everything in it. That was perfectly fine. But coming into a place like this, that's been sitting for a while. There's going to be a lot of things that we might have to change down the road to make it perfectly livable. But give you guys a quick wide overview. Very nice room. And it leads out to the back porch. This is one of the big reasons why I love this house. It has a gigantic back common area. Got its own couches. I think there was a TV in there at one point, or actually I think the TV was here because there's cable wires that come down to right there. There's a room in the main office building of the main warehouse that has a ton of exercising equipment that we might not want to keep in there anymore. And this would be a perfect spot to put all of it. It's got its own speakers for music. Don't know where they hook up to, but we'll find that out. And to those that watched the walkthrough video, a gigantic backyard, but I'm not gonna go out there. I felt like this was a big deal, so I wanted to show you guys the house and the room that I'd be staying in. It's crazy. I never thought that we would actually be getting this place. I remember in Texas for FD when we stumbled upon this listing, chilling in the grandstands uh, on one of the days off in FD and we found it and we were all just geeking out in the stands, looking through all of the photos and seeing all of the property layout and everything. Uh, it was crazy. And then fast forward five months, we're here. We're walking around. This is where I'm gonna be living. It's absolutely insane. And now we move into the office space of the warehouse. This is so nice. The fact that it is secluded from everything else that's going on. We're not crammed in the same room anymore. And it's, it's just so nice. So in here, we've just been kind of setting up slowly. So in terms of figuring out which office is mine, I have two potential options. This office has a very high potential of being mine and I absolutely love it. It's giant. It already came with this super nice desk. The chairs are outdated and falling apart. So I'll obviously bring my chair over here. Plenty of space to put all my camera gear, all these drawers and shelves and everything. This is a perfect corner for my editing station and it's just awesome. I've been doing a lot of uh, editing in here over the past few days for all the walkthrough videos and uh, I really, really like it. So the, the only downside that I see about this room is the fact that it's the only room that has a door to the outside in it, which means that people might be using this door as a way to get into the office often and that could kind of get annoying in the future. So we're gonna kind of think about things that we could do to either avoid that or slow that down. But either way, if I do end up picking this office, I'm most likely just going to have to deal with it having a door and uh, people will be coming in and out. And my other option is the room way down here. Now this room currently is the gym. And right now it is full of gym equipment. This stuff is really nice. This stuff is definitely early 2000s but uh, everything in here works, functions, treadmill works, elliptical works. This huge Bowflex looking machine works and it's super nice. You've got your own free weights here, old school TV in the corner. Can watch my uh, Richard Simmons gym DVDs. But if this room's gonna turn into my office, all of this stuff is gonna have to move. And I enjoy working out in the morning when I can, so. All of this stuff may potentially be going in the house, which will take a while to move. This stuff is gigantic. We'll have to take it all apart and stuff. But if we could have this like on the back porch or something in that big open area, it would be super, super nice to be able to wake up a little earlier, get a quick workout in, and then just go right to work. But in terms of space, this room is a little bit bigger than the other room and does not have a door uh, to the outside. So if this stuff does move, this will most likely become an entire media room. We'll have kind of a white backdrop wall over here, a green screen wall over here. My editing station will be in the corner, all those things. Thankfully, all this stuff is movable, so. I haven't moved any of my setup stuff here yet just because we don't have internet yet. 
and trying to edit and upload things here without internet and just using a hotspot is going to turn into a nightmare. So right now, that stuff is still at the old warehouse. If I need to edit and upload a video, I'll just go there in the morning, do that, and then I can come here. A Little bit of a hike, but I honestly enjoy the drive. It's all back roads and it's always super nice. So now I'll show you guys where most likely going to be keeping my cars and where you can expect to see them being worked on in the future. All right, so final place where I'm going to be working on my car. Right now it's kind of temporary and things are kind of up in the air because there's two really good potential places to be working on our cars at. Right now, this is gonna be the place. So this is most likely going to be the future dyno shop. Uh, we touched on it in the walkthrough video and you can see Shulman's got his car over there and he's been working on getting that uh, close to back to running uh, for the season. And the other shop is directly across from this one that has all of the four post lifts, which that one would be an ideal spot to work on all of our cars at. But for right now, I believe this is going to be where everything is going down. So obviously the LS400 isn't here right now. I can't bring it here right now because I have the deviated wheel. I have tires ordered. They should be here in four days of this video going up. Hopefully I can get them just mounted on, get the car here, and I can start tearing into that thing and just take the front end apart so that I can actually get the Century stuff kind of mocked up. I need to touch on this in a future video, but there's a possibility that I may not be doing Century front end swap, um, but it is for a very valid reason. And uh, it's not because of laziness or anything like that. It's a big announcement and I get to tell you that in another video when I bring the LS400 here. But for now, I just wanted to address that. I know a lot of you guys are really pumped on seeing that go down, but there's a slight possibility that it may not be happening to this LS400. And you will find out why very soon. I know it kind of sucks, but once you hear me out, you'll understand why and you'll be even more pumped than you were first. But yeah, this shop space is super, super nice. The next thing on the list for the Soar would be to actually make some really good power with that car. So I'd probably end up doing uh, injectors, fuel pump, ECU, things like that, get all of that squared away. And then we can actually make some jam with that car. So in terms of Soar content, that's what's coming for that. And that will most likely go down in this building. I'm finally going to have a fast car. This stance boy, kid that has always cambered every car he's ever owned is finally going to have a fast car and I get to feel what it feels like. And I'm very excited for it. Sorry if I'm slurring my words. I am very tired and this past week has been very hectic and a lot of filming and a lot of editing. And now I get to film and edit this video and all of that stuff. <laughs> this bike sucks. Oh God. All the handles melted off because the thing it hasn't been sitting out for that long. Is that why? Yeah. So we got some good old gloves here. We're just taking this. Dude, if we did 10 laps in the morning of this place before everything was like popping off, we'd get in shape real we'd quick. We'd get in shape real quick, dude. I think I'm putting in about like five, seven miles a day just riding around meeting with this person. And that person <laughs> kind of go this building. Yeah. That happened. It's That's crazy. Let's see if I can switch hands here. <laughs> so I just want to give another announcement before I end this video off. I know there has been a little bit of a lack of uploading on this channel more often than usual. I know I usually am lacking on uploading here because of the crazy uh, other scheduling and stuff like that for Adam's channel. But um, I have been working towards getting a certain car for a very long time. And that car is coming up to being very close to being my next car. And my next dream car, my next dream build, it's been a car that's been on my bucket list for uh, basically ever since I got my license and watched movies, watched Fast and Furious movies and everything like that. And uh, I've been saving up for a couple months and it's almost here. So if you guys are wondering why there's a lack of videos, it's because I'm trying to not spend a crap ton of money on car parts for the Soar and the LS400 and things like that so that I can actually put money towards that car and buy it. So I'm hoping by the end of April, I will be able to have that car and announce what it is. But until then, I'ma keep saving money and eating ramen and drinking air and ice cubes for breakfast. And uh, <laughs> we'll hopefully have that car soon. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'm pumped to be living here, working on my car here, coming here every day now. It's gonna be absolutely wild. This place is insane. And uh, 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I I, it's been a while since I have ridden the bike. Wait, you caught that? I think I did. Oh my I almost died. <laughs> okay, bye.